The San Francisco 49ers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Who? That's really what we're getting here in a few days, boys. Now, obviously, I'm a butthurt Lions fan, and many of us probably wanted to see the Ravens go on. But at the end of the day, it's still the Super Bowl, right? And if I can put my hating ways aside, I honestly think it's going to be a great game no matter what. Because look, either Mr. Irrelevant, the lowest paid quarterback in the NFL, the 22-year-old Brock Purdy, is going to have a Super Bowl ring before most of our poverty franchises. Yeah. Or Patrick Mahomes will actually be on track to be a better player than Tom Brady. <laughs> I know you hated hearing that. I know just how bad that bothered you. But if Mahomes gets this Super Bowl and can maintain this pace, he just might go down as better than Brady. My point is, we basically jump from Michael Jordan to LeBron James uh, with no gap in between. They literally, like, Tom Brady started to exit the league and Mahomes started to take it over. Maybe the script Scriptwriters knew what they were doing all along. Which is not something I can say for the Wheel of Mutt scriptwriters. Or maybe I can, because our current record is three and two. Three losses and we're booted. We restart the season. Five wins and we make the playoffs, which means we are two games away from a shot at a title. Now, there were some big changes last episode. I want to go over them. We forced a rage quit with an insane defensive performance. Two pick sixes in the first half. And that landed us a plus one at one position. So we took Drew Brees, we yated him out of the lineup, and we added 95 overall limited CJ Stroud. He's boosted to a 96. His stats are obviously incredible. He gets an incredible ability stack, and we saved 2 AP on Drew Brees, which freed up mid and elite on Zay Flowers, and Identifier on John Runyon. Really excited about Identifier. I'll be able to see my opponent's user now, which I haven't done the entire season of Madden 24. We also added 93 corner Devin Hester. We added Malik Hooker, who we put at strong safety, and my backup strong safety should not be DeMonte KZ. It should be our prestige, Derwin James. Gotta say, Derwin James is his first time truly getting benched, but he will come in on nickel formations, and honestly, he's been great. This might be one of the best 90 overalls I've ever used. Now, we still have some holes in this lineup, though. We're a 90 overall, but we have a silver middle linebacker. We've got a mediocre D tackle, too, and left end. Prime time is a little outdated. Isaiah Oliver is obviously outdated. And then on my offensive line, Froholt, Willie Rove, Alaric Jackson, utter trash. Jamar Chase is becoming useless. And Fred Taylor, obviously not the guy you want at fullback. Jake Ferguson, not the guy you want at backup tight end. You know the rules, gentlemen. The next Wheel of Mutt episode after this is actually going to be on the day of the Super Bowl. So we might make the playoffs on the day of the Super Bowl. That would be a pretty cool way to kick off Super Bowl Sunday. All right, boys, let's get into our first wheel spin in this episode. A lot of holes to fill. I'd like to build the O-line for sure. And I'm not going to get that choice, but I am going to get an insane play. Player, it's playoff wheel defense. So these are all the teams that made the playoffs this season in the NFL. We can take one of our choice defensive player. It's not Tampa Bay. It's the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, what's funny about the Eagles is I already have one of their very good defensive players, and that's Jalen Carter. He's actually a prestige. The 94 overall for the Philadelphia Eagles is big play Slay, a former Detroit Lion. This is an incredible option for this team. I was talking about how Prime is a little bit outdated. Darius Slay is six foot. 97 XL is disgusting, and he probably gets a really good discounted ability, so very good option here in Darius Slay. Most likely, it's Darius Slay. We could take Nolan Smith. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense for this team. I guess he could be the backup middle linebacker. You could take Carmichael. Carmichael does make a lot of sense, but this dude is the most meta card in the game. I see too much of Harold Carmichael. We're gonna break the mold. I'm going Darius Slay. 400,000 coins for Darius Slay. I'm always happy to get a former Lion. So I'm gonna put Darius Slay at CB3. Although I do need to see what abilities he gets. If he gets a discounted knockout, I might have to put him at CB2. Deep out zone KO for two? Do we try this? I want to try it. I haven't used deep out zone KO yet, and I've been talking about trying to get that on this team. So let's go for it. I'll go universal coverage. All right. Thank you, Philadelphia Eagles. All right, y'all. Our second wheel spin. Offensive line, MLB2 defensive line. That's what we're looking to upgrade right here. It's not going to be a jackpot. Honestly, this is one of my favorite ones. This is such a fun one to get. I'm playing as the Cleveland Browns. We're taking on the New York Jets. We've got Deshaun Watson. We've got Nick Chubb. We get 5,000 coins to spend on one player for every round that we can complete. We'll start with the flood concept. You just got to complete a pass. Keep it simple. Power run. Nick Chubb. Find it, buddy. Find it. I got in there. Simple read. 
Level three. First down secured. Stay in the hot spot. This could not be easier. Oklahoma defense. Prevent a first down. Easy read. Extra life challenge. Just got to get to the hot spot. We've definitely got the numbers. Should be too easy, right? No, don't get... That was embarrassing. Although we don't lose a life since that was an extra life challenge. No lives lost. About to be level 10. Oh, wait, I'm the blocker? I'm blocking? I thought I was Nick Chubb. All right, I got to let these idiots make the tackles. How would this CPU ever get in the end zone? He runs like a fucking moron. Good. He's walking himself out of bounds. How am I supposed to prevent him from doing that? Just take a different fucking angle, Nick Chubb. Please. Please. What are you doing? How would you ever score this? So, so I bodied him, and now Nick Chubb's gonna walk uh, himself out of bounds, and then I just, I got nine fucking points. Okay. 45,000 coins to spend on one player. Just gonna pick up the most usable offensive lineman. Can't quite get to a 90 overall. Gonna pick up 89 overall Cam Jurgens here. He's actually a really fast guard. 78 speed, 80 excel. So if I'm running any slip screens or anything like that, he'll be pretty good. He's just under our budget. We got nine rounds times 5k, 45,000 coins. Not what I was going for. And in my defense, my current right guard's a 79 overall. So this is a plus 10. That takes us to our third and final wheel spin. <laughs> Really sure what I want to do with it at this point. I guess we made an O-line upgrade. We'll find out. It is a soul hack a punch. So we can take one player on this team and take them to their best possible version. Willie Rofe definitely has a much better card than 86 overall, though I don't know what his best card is. Let me look it up. So initial option, Willie Rofe has an 89 overall. Fred Taylor has an 87, I guess. We could boost our fullback a little bit. Does Jake Ferguson have anything? Jake Ferguson does have a 90 overall harvest tight end. So that would be a plus 10. Our backup tight end would get a lot better. That's a pretty good option. <laughs> you know who's got an insane card, though, is Aaron Donald. He's got that Terminator. I think I'm going Jake Ferguson. I definitely like a better backup tight end. That 80 Jake Ferguson is not worth a thing right now. So 90 overall harvest tight end Jake Ferguson. Obviously a huge step up from what's in there right now. He'll be a halfway decent threat to throw to as a backup tight end. I do have a lot of sets with two tight ends. I talk about that a lot. So Gronk's not the only guy who's going to be getting thrown to. I don't think the upgrade on Willie Rofe was big enough, and I don't think Aaron Donald would have been impactful enough. All right, Jake Ferguson is in, Cam Jurgens is in, and of course, big play Slay is in. An odd array of players added this team. We still got no MLB 2, D-tackle 2, left end, and left tackle center definitely needs some help, but we are 3-2. and two. This is a must-win scenario. Let's see what the challenge wheel has got for us. Come on, baby. Last challenge wheel was four passing touchdowns. We didn't have time to complete. Have I ever done this one successfully? Like, for real? I know I've gotten really close. 55 plus fantasy points with one player. PPR scoring, of course. Somebody's got to have a monster game if we're going to complete this. Top three, of course, it's Stroud, Zay, and Bosa. of three playoff limiteds. He's got the Derek Carr. Oh, my God. I don't know if you guys watched last episode, but I, I took a shot at that Derek Carr just being a dick. And now I've got to play him in my very next game. It's a night game. Five-minute quarters. Zay Flowers does have this RPO here. And he, look at Identifier already. He is usering Strahan. Now on Ray Lewis. He can't get to Zay Flowers. We're going to take the quick RPO. Good blocks. Zay Flowers. Damn, it is weird having Identifier, but I really like it. Let's take a look. I'm going to take Zay Flowers. Getting to 55 plus is going to require me to force feed somebody. He's going to leave Zay Flowers once again. I'm sorry to be spamming, but he's leaving it. And Zay Flowers already has 5.5 fantasy points, 25 yards, three receptions. Sit in the pocket. Clean, clean. Zay Flowers, yup! That's exactly what is exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay. Zay Flowers, post! Fucking B! He's on Jadevian Clowney this time. Let's go weak side. We're going to go to Flowers' side. Great blocks. Excellent. That's excellent work. Shit, he almost sacked me, but he doesn't get it. I don't know how he got through the middle untouched right there, but we, we survived. I don't want to think about Zay Flowers too much. I feel like I just got to put this ball in the end zone, right? Gronk hitch, it's going to be a tough catch. Dude, that was basically what a center does to a point guard in the post. He boxed out Pat Tillman. That's a hell of a ball from CJ Stroud. That's a huge play right there. Third and five, huge conversion. Uh, I'm not going to be greedy. I'm handing this off to Dre Archer. Sorry, Zay Flowers. I know we got challenges to complete. Didn't get it. Second and goal. Let's go. Jet sweeps. A flowers. He's got it. And that is why those plays suck. They literally don't block the only guy who can make the fucking tackle. Okay. Third and goal. Big play. Excellent blocking right there. Zay Flowers is going to clear. <laughs> that was a 
monster drive. Gronk and Zay Flowers made two and look at this, dude. Look at that fucking no look beauty and caught. Let's see if we can cap this off. He's only got a three-man rush. He's still on Vince Will Fork. I'm going Dre Archer. That's greedy. I, I threw that too quick. First and 10, and I just whiff. <gasps> punch out. Oh my God. I whiffed the avalanche, and then I got the punch out, and then he recovered the fumble. Damn. I tell you what, boys. One of the biggest changes I've made this year that has helped my game so much, spamming the shit out of RB on the tackle. You get so many knockouts, and I'm not quite sure who just got that knockout there, but that's an avalanche. And that is two fumbles that he's recovered. Damn it. Who is, who is this over here? It was Devin Hester. Devin Hester just got that knockout, dude. Spam that shit. Oh my God, it's so good. Yeah, whoopsies. But um, the best time to do it is when you've got extra bodies to make the tackle. First and 10. We have literally popped out two fumbles. And we don't have the ball. But you know what? This guy is dedicated to the run game. Maurice Jones, Drew, can't go anywhere. They're averaging a yard per carry. I expect a pass here. It's an RPO. I can get over here with Christian Harris. Huge play. Third and four. It is a pass. He's going to check quick. Isaiah Likely, who catches it. Fourth and three. He's no huddle. I expected that, too. I think this is an RPO. I think it's an RPO. I got to get to... Oh, why is... Who is Graham, and why are you in? Who is Graham, and why are you in? It's not an RPO. 83 is open. Shit, Jesse Bates gets off his block and makes a giant tackle. Who is Graham, and why are you in? Definitely could be a run. I got to be ready with Ray Lewis, and I'm going to go on Malik Cooker. It was an RPO. Oh, and it's bottled by 85, Aaron Donald. No man in his right mind would run the ball after that pitiful ass run attempt. Yep. It's a pass. Oh, no. Dude, I honestly, we, we got two fumbles on that drive. We're going to make him turn it over for real. It just hasn't happened quite yet. Going to block Dre Archer. Now he's on Vince Wilfork. I should be able to hit Zay Flowers underneath. We need to, we need to milk this clock aggressively. Wow, I haven't seen that glitch in a long time, but Gronk did the thing on his slant where he decides to just dead stop in the middle of it. Hit him, take our PPR points, and hopefully he's next to Great blocking from Jamar Chase. Zay Flowers, the first down. The clock moves. We'll be at the two-minute warning here soon. I don't think he can cover Jamar Chase on this. No, he can't. Dude, if he stays on Vince Wolfork, he's going to be in so much trouble because this RPO bubble will never not be open if he stays like that. I might be able to hit CeeDee Lamb, actually. Oh, shit, I threw that so late! I don't know what got into me right there. I, I had it early. I threw it so late. That tip-up's a little unlucky, but that's totally on me. That's a horrible ball. All right, we just got to get the ball back now. It's winner go home. Aaron Donald. You got to love this Aaron Donald, man. Picked up nicely. Do we get the tackle? We do. He's not going to get the first. Third and two. He's going to check it down. Ooh, I was trying to go for the knockout there. Oh, shit. I just let him get a lot more yards than he should have. Oh, no, I'm on Aaron Donald. This is bad. He can go 80. He can go 80. He can go 80. Okay, he's just going to take off with Derek Carr. He's going to slide down third and three. I'm calling a timeout. Oh, I'm so close to that, but I get the knockout. Let's go. Huge hit from Lay Lewis. Fourth and three. He'll take the field goal. Honestly, we have an opportunity to potentially score right here, too. Here's Gronk. Great catch. Get down. Five seconds on the clock. Can I get in field goal range and still get a timeout on? Oh my god, that's a horrible ball. Honestly, it doesn't even matter that that's a horrible ball. Yeah, he didn't have him beat. I don't know why, but I just feel like we're going to win this game. There she is. Beautiful defense, Lawrence Taylor. Dude, he's got negative five rushing yards. You're not going to win a ball game with negative five rushing yards. Come on, boys. Trips tight end offset. Okay, so last time out of this, he blocked the running back. So I'm not going to blitz Ray Lewis. Oh, I'm so unbelievably close to that. Let me have it. That's it or so no! No! What? Oh my god, that was disgusting. That should have been intercepted by two people, and he caught it? Dude, this guy is so fucking bailed out. He's picked up two fumbles. Oh, that's so frustrating. It's a run. It's an obvious run. Oh, it's an RPO action. Stretch alert bubble. I don't know if I can get to this. Oh, I can. Keep stacking. Oh, wow. Just unbelievably frustrating on that one. Could be a run play once again. Oh, it's the same play. Stretch alert bubble. Gonna be a tough. This is gonna be an uphill battle. Gotta play strong. This is gonna be a CD Lamb pass. This is a seam beater. He's in cover three. He will run the exact same thing. He will not adjust. CD Lamb will catch it this time. And I still could have thrown that, but I can also throw this. Dre Archer, nice check down, nice juke. Dude, he's actually gonna leave CD Lamb again. Uh, this is just safer. This is so much safer. I'm not taking the CD Lamb pass if I've got that. Maybe could have thrown that up. One gigantic stop. Dre Archer. Great angle route. Second and six. 
to CD Lamb touchdown. Does he got what it takes to close this game out on me? With really efficient clock management, he puts me in a serious hole, that's for sure. Patience, 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 patience. No, Jesus. Oh, I had somebody over there, didn't I? I had, uh, I think it was Gronk, wide open. And there it is, it's an RPO, actually. It's an RPO. He's gonna accidentally keep it with Carr. He did not mean to do that. Go on Malik Hooker and play a potential RPO here. Not an RPO. Great defense! Darius Slay knocks out a hell of a corner route. Third and 13, that was huge. I've been trying to get one turnover on this dude all game. Maybe I can get it here. Corner route. And there's a dig, and there's a dig. Where are you shifting to? Where are you going, Lawrence Taylor? You're in the mid zone. This could be an RPO again. We just hand up. And we got the Silver Graham. The fact that he's like gone all the way down here, not shoot the clock, very good for us. Just gonna hand it off. That looked like it was eh, second and nine. Saying my first rodeo champ. Let's see what he comes out with here. He's gotta come out with a big pass, right? So if there was ever a time to intercept him, it's right now. He's gonna send that dig across, that late dig from 12. Go on man coverage blitz. Let's go! Donald could have picked that shit. Fourth and 12, that's okay. Hey, that switch up to the blitz was ballsy, but it might've just paid off. He's gonna drill this. It'll be an eight point game. I can score and get a two point conversion. Maybe win this fucking game. Okay, so CD Lamb is open. I don't know what his obsession with this is, but he's open every time he does this. CD Lamb might be getting our challenge wheel, but if I don't win, it doesn't matter. Stay in, stay in bounds, Drew. Woo -hoo -hoo! Welcome to the Archer Show. We go Jamar Chase on a whip. We're gonna switch it up just a little bit. Stay inside, stay slow. I don't know what my two-point conversion play is gonna be though, because I'm 0 for 2 right now on those. So he he's gonna leave Dre Archer again under here. The juke inside's always gonna work. There's Dre Archer right in the middle. We got a ball game, gentlemen. There's Dre Archer. Easy pass. 20 seconds left. We call a timeout. I've literally ran the exact same thing out of gun trips. I'd end the ent this entire drive and last drive. The thing is, this same formation has an RPO. So I could whip the RPO now and he won't expect it. Or do I save this RPO for the two-point conversion? I feel like if I keep it in my back pocket and he doesn't see it, it should be a free two-point conversion, right? It should be. Actually, yeah. I'm keeping this in my back pocket. I'm not using it here. There's Gronk. Easy throw, great catch. I have one timeout left. I have 14 seconds. I have three shots at the end zone. And I don't want to use RPO Trap Alert Bubble because I want to use it for the two point. And I want to stay in this exact formation so that he thinks it's the same play he's been seeing over and over and over. I don't want to give this away. I think I can hit CeeDee Lamb for the touchdown here and I think I got to go for it. Let's go. CeeDee Lamb, touchdown! Now it all comes down to the two point conversion. I almost could run that exact same thing, couldn't I? I really could. It all comes down to this, 18 to 20. I think the RPO is there. He's on Vince Wilfork. It is, the RPO's there. We gotta go. Throw the bubble. Give me a block. What are you doing, Jamar? He got it! Jamar, what was that fucking horseshit? Honky tonk fucking, oh! 12 seconds, one timeout for the Steelers. We're almost to overtime, almost. He's got a timeout in eight seconds. He could really get in field goal range here. Straight up, 100% could get in field goal range. He calls a timeout. Oh my God, he has to hit a corner route now. He doesn't, oh my God, what? He doesn't even want to risk throwing an interception? What? Oh my God, that's insane. I have never seen that. I, I guess it makes sense. I, I, it doesn't. I don't get that. He keeps his momentum or something? Tails never fails! It fails! It fails right now! Of course it fucking fails! Damn it! This has been such a brutal, such a difficult game, and he gets the coin toss. Stretch alert bubble. Stretch alert bubble. Every time. Oh my god, what kind of... Lawrence Taylor, you're all over that, man. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> I broke it up. I was about to say, I almost picked that shit. Third and one, huge play. Potentially a run, potentially some form of RPO. Throws it to that side and he gets it. Nice play. Just gonna hand it off. Not on Nick Bosa. Second and 13. Huge defense. He's just spamming the RPOs. What? Ramsey, anime. It's, oh my God, it's right there. Ramsey had him locked up. You're fucking me. I'm playing that perfectly. I'm coming down and I'm holding Y. I have Lurk Artist. Please let me have one. And I just got a fucking defensive holding. I just got a defensive holding. Illegal contact. That's a brutal one right there. Definitely still could be a handoff. Done a good amount of handoffs here. No. I'm a little shocked by this playbook. What the fuck is going on? We are jumping every ball. He just keeps catching it. What are we doing? I've been there every time on every ball. 
goes Mojo. Second and two. Game ain't over. Ain't over till it's over. Corner out at 83. Stop it! You're throwing to the face of my players and nobody will take the ball. What are you doing? Ray Lewis! Ray Lewis! He'll go rage and it's over. Somebody finally found home. Dude, that's about the fifth time he threw that same damn ball. Why deviate from the script right now? When it's all going so well, we've got this, gentlemen. Coach suggestions, all carrier conservative. Harrison Butker has every kicker ability. He gets a slow meter. We put ourselves in range and we end this fucking game. Gronk, once again, you don't want to guard it, I'll keep throwing it. 27 for 31, 283 yards, and the one interception is on me. CJ Stroud with an insane debut and the Vince Wilfork user. Gonna go home with the loss here. Let's go three Archer. It's simple, it's easy. Can't let him get a knockout on me right there. Second and nine. Beautiful, gotta remember, every single time we can always switch to this RPO trap bubble here. Only issue is that it's Jamar Chase running it. When anytime he presses, CeeDee Lamb is so open. One, two, CeeDee Lamb. Game! Ball game! I can take the field goal right now if I want it. Uh, it's a little too deep. It's a little bit, it's a little bit sketchy. I'm gonna take one more bubble out of Zay Flowers just to move myself a little bit closer. Only throwing this bubble if it is unbelievably open. I expect it to be. It is. Hold those blocks. Stay inside. Ball carrier conservative for that exact reason. 46 yard field goal for the game. Let's go! Let's go! Against all odds! Let's go! We needed the tutty. We needed the two point. We got them both. We lose the coin toss. Red zone interception. Marched down and ended the ball game. Oh my God, that might be. Oh! Honestly, I really don't know if we got our challenge wheel done. Unfortunately, he did quit. See, the thing is though, CeeDee Lamb had two touchdowns, a ton of yards and receptions. But I just feel like 55 plus is so hard. I feel like even if he had 15 receptions, 150 yards and two touchdowns, I feel like that's pretty realistic. He would have had 42 points. As a consolation, I'm gonna open a mystery pack. So rather than choosing a pack, I'll let fate decide if this is good or not. The mystery pack, these are dog shit. So fate decided that I did not get 55 plus. Um, unless I get a linebacker, which fate is kind of looking out for me. Brandon Jones, Dobbins, neither of those are worth shit. Um, yep, yep, nope. Fate decided that um, I didn't earn that shit basically. All right, boys. I love you. Thank you for watching as always. You just watched one of the best Wheel of Mutts of the season. We move to four and two. So next game is really the biggest game. We win. We head to the playoffs. We lose. We're headed to Cancun to meet up with the Lions and the Baltimore Ravens. I love you, boys. Thanks for watching as always. See you in the next one. Peace.